Hello, my name is Tim Newton. I'm Professor of Psychology as Applied to Dentistry at King's College London. I'm here today to talk to you about some research that we recently published in the British Dental Journal looking at the characteristics of people uh, that have been attending our cognitive behaviour therapy service um, in, at King's College London Guy's Hospital. So in this paper what we were hoping to do is look at the first 130 patients that we treated with cognitive behaviour therapy for their dental phobia from the uh, time of their first assessment to the time of them completing treatment. Um, and what we found is that uh, of the 130 patients, the majority were women. We had 99 women and 31 men. Uh, there was a high prevalence of other psychological problems amongst this group. So not only were they experiencing a dental phobia, but they had other psychological problems as well. Uh, in particular, there was a high level of general anxiety. About 37% of, of the patients had uh, general anxiety and about 12% uh, were experiencing depression. But perhaps most importantly, there was a group of 12% that had um, had some kind of suicidal thoughts in the last month, and about 3% had been planning to take their own lives. So obviously this was a group we were very concerned about and that we need to plan care for. In terms of the outcomes of their treatment, 76% uh, of those we treated ended up having treatment, uh, dental treatment without any sedation or other pharmacological intervention, apart from local anaesthetic. About 6% went on to have sedation for their care. So this is a successful treatment for turning people around from a dental phobia to being able to have treatment like you or I. And on average that took only five one-hour sessions to achieve that goal. Um, what we're hoping in the future is to roll this model out what, uh, to a wider group of people, a wider group of services across the country. But if you want to read more about what we did, uh, look at bdj.co.uk.